NBC 739 First News at 4. Diabetes linked to Alzheimer's. I'm Peggy Pico coming up with Salk Institute researchers say you can do to protect your family. Baby boomers aging. More and more people will be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. New at 430, the important new study done by local researchers linking Alzheimer's and diabetes. Our medical correspondent Peggy Pico with details at 430. Obese children may be at higher risk of getting Alzheimer's disease at a much younger age than their parents may have gotten it. Medical correspondent Peggy Pico joins us this afternoon to explain why. It's a really interesting and surprising link in lab experiments. Researchers at Salk Institute here in San Diego discovered mice who were diabetic at a young age developed memory loss and other signs of Alzheimer's disease years before they should have. Memory loss, they have inflammation in the brain and they have uh, damage to their blood vessels in their brain. All signs of Alzheimer's disease discovered during a Salk Institute research study of young mice that links diabetes to early onset of Alzheimer's. The animals um, develop symptoms similar to Alzheimer's at a very young age before they normally would. That's a big problem for American children, whom according to the CDC, skyrocketing obesity rates will cause one in three children born after the year 2000 to become diabetic. Our data indicates that if you have diabetes at a very young age, that will increase the possibility of getting Alzheimer's disease at a much earlier age. What this could mean is that Alzheimer's symptom could appear as early as age 30 to 40 years old. Right now, adults age 65 or older are at most risk of getting Alzheimer's. This should be a very strong warning. A warning about two diseases that starts with obese children who turn diabetic and without treatment may lead to Alzheimer's in middle age. Researchers say they were surprised by the results. They told me because originally they were simply looking at blood sugar and its effect on the brain. They say they didn't expect young, otherwise healthy diabetic mice to develop Alzheimer's symptoms so fast. This is not good news when we know how the obesity trend is going in this country. Yeah, and that was their advice. Next step, absolutely. Get your kids, get them on a diet, get them exercising, keep that obesity rate down, keep the diabetes rate down, and hopefully slow off other diseases later on. Right. Okay, thanks, Peggy. Mm -hmm. right. Well, the Salk Institute also received a $20 million donation from Ted Waite, the creator of Gateway Computers. The money will go to hire new researchers and buy hybrid microscope cameras called biophotonics. The biophotonic image is one of millions. There's a picture right there. This is molecules living inside one bone cancer cell. Well, the ultimate goal is to, to, to shoot movies of, of molecules inside living cells. That's the ultimate goal. And uh, every cell has billions of molecules. Hetzer says the ability to see deeper into living human cells could lead to new discoveries about cancer and other diseases.